Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet square basket. I'm going to work with t-shirt yarn, it's 100% cotton yarn called cookie, but you can use any other t-shirt yarn, for example Bobilon. The link where you can purchase the yarn is in description of this video. And for this yarn I'll use 10 mm crochet hook and if you tighten less than me you can use 9 mm crochet hook. I, I tighten enough, I think. Okay, start with magic circle and chain one and this chain we will count like single crochet. So, chain one and then seven single crochets into the magic ring and when I set the chain on the beginning we will count like single crochet plus seven single crochets in magic ring is eight together. If you would like to try to make a round basket you can follow my pattern or follow my video and the video will be in description of this video or above the right corner. Okay, now you have to pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. And then we have to join the round with a slip stitch, but I'm going to use, I think, invisible uh, slip stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook into the chain. Grab the end, pull it through. And now insert your hook into the back loop in the first stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through and then pull it through two loops. So this is invisible slip stitch, invisible ending. I think it's the best way how to uh, joined around in this case and from next round we are going to use not stitches but the single crochet from previous round so you will go through the single crochet from previous round and you have uh, you have to have uh, your your crochet hook between these two loops and under the loop so I'm going to show you again, you have to be there like this and this invisible slip stitch is uh, like chain one. So in next stitch, uh, I will say stitch, but I mean the single crochet from previous round, make three single crochets so make three single crochets in the same stitch this is second single crochet and this is third single crochet in the same space okay then in next stitch make just one single crochet so go through the single crochet from previous round turn it and check if you are on the right place and make single crochet. In the next stitch make again three single crochets. And these three single crochets in the same space is corner. So we need to get four corners. This is second corner. In the next stitch make again just one single crochet. Next stitch, three single crochets, so it's third corner. Uh, 
one single crochet in next stitch and three single crochets in the next stitch so this is fourth corner and in this round between corners you have to have just one single crochet okay and now you have to make invisible slip stitch again so we are going to finish this round and we are going to start the next round so insert your hook over here through through the stitch just in this round it will be a little harder insert your hook into the right place just here in this moment in this round and then go just through or under the, uh, the back loop and make a slip stitch now you should uh, if you are a beginner you should use stitch marker always I'm not beginner but I'm going to mark the start it's better for me so you can do it uh, you can do it too if you want and now in next round we will repeat the same pattern uh, but in next round we will have three single crochets between corners and we will make corners every round so you have to make always three single crochets in the in each corner and uh, I'm going to make three single crochets always in the second single crochet in series so in the next uh, stitch make one single crochet and we are in series so in the second always in the second single crochet make three single crochets you can use stitch markers for corners if you want but I think it's uh, it's easy to find <laughs> there are three single crochets and always in the middle you have to make three single crochets again okay now make one single crochet in next three stitches so in this round you uh, need to have three single crochets between corners and next round it will be five next round it will be seven next round it will be nine so this is system how to make square okay now I'm in the corner so make three single crochets um, in the second single crochet of series and then again make just one single crochet in next three stitches I hope it's understandable for you if it's not just write me here below the video and I will help you but always you need to make three single crochets in the second single crochet in each corner so now you can see 
the second crochet here and there you have to make three single crochets so three single crochets in the same space and then again just one single crochet in next three stitches so continue working like this okay I am at the end of the round so I'm going to finish the round with uh, an invisible stitch in an invisible slip stitch and we are going to continue in the same pattern like uh, in previous round so make one single crochet in now in next two stitches and in this round how I said you should have five single crochets between corners and always in the second uh, single crochet of series you need to make three single crochets so you need to have five single crochets between corners and three single crochets in in each corner in the same stitch okay now over here make three single crochets And now make one single crochet in next five stitches. You can follow this pattern and this system if you want to make any square. I mean, if you will want to make a rack or blanket or crochet lovey um, the toy for sleeping um, or anything you want so continue working uh, continue working like this and meet me back again at the end of the round so you can pause the video and remember just you need to have always three single crochets in the same stitch in each corner and in this round you, sh you should not you should you need to have uh, five single crochets between corners Okay, I'm going to finish the round and start the next round. So, this is invisible slip stitch. And then I'm going to make one more round. If you want to make bigger basket, it's up to you. You can, you can make bigger basket. So always you will have uh, two more single crochets between each corner every round so in this round uh, in this round you need to have seven single crochets between corners and next round you will have nine single crochets uh, between corners always make three single crochets in the second stitch of series and you will get uh, bigger bigger square basket if you want but this is last round what I'm going to make
Okay, uh, this is last round, so I'm going uh, to finish finish uh, the round, but a little different, <laughs> because uh, I think it's the best way how to finish this last round, the, the round, the last round of bottom of crochet basket, square basket, so cut the yarn and now I'm going to make a normal slip stitch but again <laughs> invisible slip stitch so pull the yarn through from this side and now you have to go into the middle of last stitch and pull it through maybe you know better way how to finish it just do it like you think it's the best. Okay, and in next round uh, we are going to use two loops, two back loops, just in next round and I'm going to use new end of yarn and we will use these two loops, so these two back loops only. So pull the yarn through, make chain one and I'm going to hide the tail behind my work and make one single crochet in next three, yeah in next three uh, these back loops. <laughs> And now we are making the body of crochet basket. So it will go up. And from now it will be easier. We will make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. But always in each corner we will make a little different a way uh, of single crochets. So now you can see the corner. Okay, you can see corner and always in each corner we will make uh, different single crochets. So I'm going to show you. Insert your crochet hook into, uh, into these back loops like before, grab the yarn, pull it through, but now don't finish it and insert your hook into the next two back loops, grab the yarn, pull it through and now take the, the last loop of your crochet hook and now you can make single crochet then put the loop back on the crochet hook and make second single crochet and then again make one single crochet in each in each two back loops to the uh, to the next uh, corner
Okay, I'm nearly at the uh, at the second corner, so I have to make one more single crochet over here, and now you can see the corner. So I think you can see the corner well. So over here you have to make again single crochet with uh, with different <laughs> way and you can count if you want uh, you should have eight single crochets between corners so here make um, the first uh, first loop yeah it's loop and then go to the next two back loops and you have three loops on your hook take the last loop of your hook and now you can make single crochet then put the loop back on the crochet hook and make second single crochet I hope it's understandable if it's not just write me here below the video but I really really hope it's understandable and if you like the video I will be very happy for the thumb up and now continue working like this to the end of this round I am at the end of the round and now just make a make an invisible slip stitch and from this round uh, it will be easier we will make just one single crochet in each uh, single crochet from previous round and always make a different single crochets in each corner and make if you want to have the same size of square crochet basket as me make uh, eight eight uh, rounds together Okay, make one more single crochet, normal single crochet in next stitch and then make again single crochets with different way. So insert your hook into the middle of single crochet from previous round, grab the yarn, don't finish the single crochet and insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, take the loop of your hook and finish the first single crochet, then put the loop back on and make a second single crochet. I think it's, it's not hard to do it. Then you will make just one single crochet in each stitch to the next corner and continue working like this every round.
Okay, continue working like this and meet me back again at the end of this round. Now I'm going to show you uh, just the finishing of the round, but I think you know already. And then continue exactly the same patter pattern like in previous round. So make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, but make a different way how to make a single crochets uh, in each corner. And now it's up to you how high you want to, uh, your basket to be. So if you want to follow me, make eight rounds together. And if you didn't crochet this satin tail behind your work, uh, like me, because I forgot, just use yarn needle and sew it around, maybe in two rounds, maybe just one is enough, and sew it uh, around and tighten it. Okay, I have drawn eight rounds and now it's up to you if you want to make a border, border from slip stitches or you can leave it just like this. If you want to leave it like this, uh, just uh, don't finish it uh, the same way like in previous round, make last a single crochet and then make a slip stitch with an invisible way. So I'm going to make a border from slip stitches so I'm going to insert the hook over here and make a slip stitch and then make one slip stitch in each stitch. I say stitch, but I mean stitch now in this case. So you stitches and make one slip stitch in each stitch around. Don't tighten it much, don't tighten it at all. <laughs> And that's that's last step of pattern. So I hope you did it. It's not hard to make it for you. So now continue working one slip stitch in each stitch all the way around and then meet me back again. Okay, I'm at the end of the round, so just cut the yarn. Don't make uh, the last slip stitch with uh, normal way with crochet hook. Just pull it through. And I'm going to make a last slip stitch with invisible way. So I took a smaller crochet hook. And you have to pull the tail through the first slip stitch from this side. And then go back to the last stitch and pull it through the last stitch. So insert your hook. Um, into the middle of last stitch uh, from below and pull it through. Um, you should uh, pull the tail to both stitches so I just showed you how you should do it, but you should pull it through to both stitches.
Okay, and that's all we have drawn our basket, square basket. So just uh, saw all tails inside the basket with yarn needle and that's really all. Okay, this is a basket f without border. I think it may be nicer uh, than the basket with border. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was enough understandable for you. And see you soon. Bye bye.